I'm Deaconess Carolyn Brinkley. I'm the director of the Military Project at Concordia Theological Seminary in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And that means I get to be a Deaconess around the world, making sure that our LCMS chaplains get the theological resources that they need to bring the mercy of Christ to those who defend our freedoms in the armed forces chaplains all over in the states around the world can ask me anytime for anything that they might need such as hymnals, catechisms, and study Bibles. And thanks to the people who so kindly give gifts to the Military Project, I'm able to send these to chaplains and they distribute them in the military. My favorite thing to send is our beautiful Lutheran service book. Often the military can't go to church, so the church comes to them. In addition to books, we also send artworks, such as the cross and icons. And not only do these images help to sustain the chaplains in their devotional life, but when soldiers come to their offices, they are confronted with the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus. As I got into this position, I got to know people who worked with us. And one of the first people I got to know was Deaconess Brinkley here at Fort Wayne. She and I and my office work closely together to ensure that our chaplains have Lutheran service books, catechisms. She encourages them with cards and prayers. So it's just a great important partner to have as we go about our business of making sure the gospel is shared with those who serve our military. I received this catechism from uh, Chaplain Duell, who's a Lieutenant Colonel with the 38th Infantry Division, and it was in Kabul in Afghanistan. But Chaplain Duell, he was asking me where I went to church, if I had a faith tradition, which I really didn't at the time. I was Christian, but we discovered that I was, in fact, a Lutheran. Everything that Luther was saying uh, was, was right as far as I was concerned and what I could see in the Bible. When I got to seminary and that uh, Deaconess Brinkley, she spoke in one of Dr. Pless's classes, and so we got to know each other. And as I talked to her, I realized that she was involved with this military project. I told her my story about Chaplain Duell there, and she looked at, thought about the time she had. I, I sent those to Chaplain Duell. Carolyn came into my life while I was serving in uh, Kuwait. I just got back from Afghanistan. And when I got back into my office, I found a couple of cards from people, not just my wife, Mary, but there's one from this deaconess from Fort Wayne, Indiana. I opened it up and inside were letters of thanks and appreciation from everybody from the president of the seminary to some of the most brilliant minds in Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. And it just made me smile from ear to ear that someone cared about me and the ministry that I'm doing in Kuwait and Afghanistan. We had just gotten to Iraq and I was the chaplain for a pretty large uh, trauma center. And I showed up in the emergency room and we had just received a patient that uh, had, had committed suicide. The chief of surgery, who was the attending physician at the time, uh, called the patient, called time of death. He turned around and said to me, okay, okay, chaplain, you know, it's your show now. I have other patients to go see. And um, there, there really are no words that you can say that will make it better at that point. Nothing I have that will give them, but because the military project had given me those, those worship resources, like I'd mentioned, uh, enabling me to, to speak and preach the gospel to uh, soldiers who were, who were deeply hurting. What the military project does and people that support the military project is it puts resources, not just in the chaplain's hands, but in the soldier's hands for them to find comfort in Christ and comfort in the gospel. And so I really can't overstate enough just how valuable partnering with the Military Project has been so far in my ministry and, and will continue to be in the future. It's a time in their life that's difficult. And when one of our LCMS chaplains tells them that they are not alone, but Jesus is with them and loves them and forgives them, this can be life-changing. And there's nothing else I would rather do, no place I would rather serve than Concordia Theological Seminary as a deaconess, bringing the mercy of Christ to those who protect our freedoms.